Unified Diagnostic Services, Write Data by Identifier Service, SID0X2E. The Write Data by Identifier Service is basically used, you know, the service used by the client to write information into the server memory location for the given identifier. So, as we discussed previously, a data identifier is, uh, you know, uh, two byte uh, data and uh, followed by that, uh, whatever the value which you want to write, that should be sent as a data record. And these data records are internally written into the ECU memory location. The service is 2E. The response message, uh, you know, followed uh, by the service ID 0x2e, followed by the data identifier with two bytes of data, and followed by n number of data bytes or data records. It could be minimum of one byte data and maximum of, uh, you know, the allowable limit from the ECU memory. And uh, a few example uh, for this kind of uh, write data by identifier data is that uh, something like you know programming uh, information uh, you know into the server example is writing the win data into the memory or the software version software version or hardware version or resetting some uh, values uh, in the field or you know, when you change the injector in the engine management system and you want to write the injector uh, codes, then also you can use this um, service. Or if you're working in a body control module where uh, the key is changed, then the key, uh, you know, identifiers need to be placed in the body control memory, uh, then also you can use uh, write data by identifier. In case of instrument cluster, you know, you can use to write win number or if there is a replacement of instrument cluster happens in the vehicle, then the old value of, uh, uh, you know, the ODO value needs to be, you know, written back to the new cluster in that kind of scenario with the security access, you can write uh, the data into the ECU memory with the help of write data by identifier request. Every ECU, uh, if you happen to work in OEM, and uh, every ECU generally supports this uh, write data by identifier service. And many times in end of the line, when you want to write uh, such parameters into normal tail memory, then this service can be used. And the response for, uh, uh, the positive response for the service uh, 2E is 6E since uh, it's added the value 40 and it returns back with the, you know, the data ID, data identifier 2 bytes. I read from 00002 0xff. So, uh, four byte identifier will be, you know, echoed back to the uh, client or the diagnostic tester. So, this is the format of the message 0x2e followed by, you know, four bytes of data identifier and a minimum of one data identifier, you know, data identifier record value and this has been sent from diagnostic tester to ECU and the ECU sends back with the response message of 0x6e followed by the you know data identifier number. Now possible NRC codes uh, for this uh, re request uh, negative response codes or these are the negative response code incorrect message length or invalid format that means uh, if the message sent from the diagnostic tester is not meeting the minimum length criteria or exceeding the maximum length criteria by the 
ECU, then it sends a negative request, or if the format is not supported, also it sends the negative response. Condition not correct, 0x22 is a code back uh, if if uh, are sent back uh, by the ECU. If the vehicle is not in stable uh, you know condition, that means uh, during this session, if the vehicle is moving. Or uh, there is some other uh, scenarios where uh, the issue is not able to respond back, then this condition is not correct. Uh, NRC is sent back. And the uh, same the case for request out of range. Uh, uh, so, for example, uh, a particular memory location only can be read, and if you are trying to write data into that, then you say, you know, this particular area. Uh, the memory location is not um, available for writing data and 0x33 is sent back when you try to you know access a memory location where it is uh, secured uh, by the um, security algorithm that means you need to pass the security in order to write into the particular location in 0x72, NRC is sent back from the ECU if there is a general programming failure and the ECU does not support such a request without accessing the security. These are the negative response code supported by uh, this service. So here is an example of uh, write data by identifier writing a win number into the ECU. So here you see, you know, it start with 0x2e, f190. This f190 data identifier stands for win number data identifier. It's predefined uh, uh, in the document, and uh, followed by this, uh, you know, win ID, data ID. We have 17 digits or 17 bytes of data which has to be sent from diagnostic tester to the ECU to write the vehicle identification number into the ECU. The VIN number is provided by uh, you know OEM, the vehicle manufacturers, and uh, writing this VIN number into the ECU happens at end of line. And the second possibility is that when there is a replacement of ECU happens at a dealer location, then the new ECU has to be written with this old win number in order to work uh, you know, well with the rest of the network in the vehicle ECU. So this is you know, one of the way of uh, writing data into ECU memory. And uh, there are other situations where you can also write data for different reasons like you know when you happen to replace the injectors uh, of the engine then during that time also injector codes can be written into the ecu memory or if you want to reset some nvm memory location you can write reset the values using this write data by identifier okay uh, yeah i think uh, We have come to a conclusion and uh, hope uh, uh, you have invested your time well here and uh, looking forward to see you next time. Bye.